four-year-old boy suddenly asked his mother, there's a baby in your belly that's dead, is that right? The mother froze. No one had ever told the boy he'd had a miscarriage. She asked the boy how he knew. The mother's tears were uncontrollable, but her son's next words were even more frightening. There was a girl in heaven who told him. Her mother asked her what her name was. You didn't give her a name. The mother was already sobbing. The unborn child was a permanent pain in his heart. The boy's name was made. That day, he was struck by an illness that left him in severe abdominal pain. The couple rushed him to the hospital. They were diagnosed with a ruptured appendix. He needed immediate surgery. But this operation is very risky. The doctor told them to be prepared. When they heard that, the couple was struck by lightning. The father couldn't stand it. He was going to take out his emotions in a dark room. The mother called her friends at church and asked them to pray for their son. And that's how the whole town came together. Whether they knew maid or not, they all started praying for him. Eventually, the surgery was done. The boy survived. But as time passed, the father suddenly realized there was something strange about Mead. He kept saying he'd gone to heaven. At first, his father thought he was talking in his sleep. Mead told his father that he was out of his body during the operation. He saw his mom talking on the phone outside the operating room. Dad kicked over the chair in frustration. When he heard that, the father couldn't stay calm for a long time. He kept asking his son for details about heaven. He believed his son. At the next day's evangelistic meeting, he told the congregation what heaven looked like, but this caused a lot of resentment. The congregation went wild and told the father to get off the stage. The man walked off the stage in despair. The protests of the people that shook him to his core. The father found a psychiatrist. He consulted him about his son. The doctor told him that when a man is dying, the body releases hormones to make you feel peaceful and happy. The brain remembers images of happiness in life. Since his parents were both religious, it's not surprising that Mead saw God. When he heard that, the father politely got up to say goodbye. It seemed that his son was just hallucinating. From then on, the family returned to their quiet life. That day, father and son went to visit their grandfather's grave. Maid suddenly asked his father, is there an elder named Joe? The man was stunned. Joe was his grandfather. He died long before Maiden was born. Where did he hear that? Looking at his father's puzzled eyes, Maiden didn't explain. He said to himself, he was a good man. Father asked if he'd seen him before. Mead nodded his head. The father was stunned. He took his son home. He showed him a picture of his grandfather. But Mead said he didn't look like that. He didn't wear glasses. And he looked much younger. The man took out a picture of his grandfather when he was young. Maid recognized him right away. He said everyone in heaven was young and lived happily ever after. The father was stunned. He believed his son again. Mead had really been to heaven. That day a couple of reporters showed up at his door. They wanted Maid to tell them more about heaven. The boy said he sat on Jesus' lap. The reporter smiled a little. It was obvious she didn't believe him. Soon the interview with Mead was published. The family became the joke of the town. But the father wasn't angry. He continued to listen to him talk about heaven. In time, he lost his job. And that made his wife very angry. She said her husband was hopeless. He believed his children. So the couple fell out. The man rushed out the door to calm down. Naturally, Mead was by his side. The father and son arrived at the hospital. Then Mead suddenly ran into the hospital room and held the hand of a little girl in her bed. It's all right, he said with compassion. No one can hurt you. The girl smiled. Her fear of surgery vanished in an instant. Looking at his gentle son, the father understood everything. Maybe there is no God. Maybe everyone is God. The two of them returned home. Mother was packing clothes. She'd had enough of her husband's obsession. She was going back to her mother's house for a few days. Maid went to her mother's house. He didn't try to persuade her to stay. He helped with the packing. He told the story of his sister who was stillborn. He met her in heaven. The girl looked just like his mother. She had the same color hair and eyes. She came to him, hugged him tightly. His mother was in tears, the child she hadn't even named. She didn't even know it was a girl. The mother finally believed her son. The couple was reunited. The knot that had been in their hearts for so many years was now dissolved. 